Both of my children were born at Royal Inland Hospital. Every time I drive past RIH, all I can think of is that's where our little girl was born and it really makes me happy. RIH, that's my hospital. This hospital is our community hospital. It's not just a building on the hill. Uh, if it wasn't for their intervention, I likely would not be sitting here right now. I was unfortunate uh, I had an accident. I ended up spending five days in the hospital. Certainly a loved one in the community or someone that you know has had to use the hospital or may have to use the hospital in the future. To be in the hospital and see how the staff there care for you and they're part of our community, our hospital, it's really heartwarming. I feel like I, I, like I got really lucky coming to Kamloops to work here. It's been a great place to practice. It's a perfect fit. It was a really collegial bunch of people and we have to find innovative ways to uh, keep up with the technology and the high standard of care uh, that we're used to delivering. RH is our hospital. I, I wish the, the public knew that this hospital is doing the best and better than ever, you know, you could ever expect with the amount of money and, and funding and space that it has. We need to reduce the criticism associated with those facilities where it's unwarranted. When we're waiting for other people to do the things that really, at the end of the day, really become part and parcel in my mind of our own personal part of our future, um, I think that's a really dangerous place to be. We need people to step up in the private sector and make substantial donations in the coming years to make sure that we can continue to provide the level of health care that we need in the city of Kamloops. Royal Inland Hospital is our hospital. It's our job to help educate uh, Kamloops residents uh, what the hospital's needs are. We need more beds. We have less than 300 beds in this hospital. In the bigger emergency room, they need more space and they need more doctors. We are lacking in laparoscopic equipment. New operating room theaters. If we can run more operating rooms, we can ensure that people get timely access to the care that they need. It's desperately needed with such a big region that we cover. I guess my biggest fear is that we're going to lose some more of the doctors and, and that we have to go farther away to get our different procedures done. Our family just spent two weeks in the Kelowna area and in a motel while our father had open heart surgery. Kamloops needs a cardiac unit. RIH is our hospital. RIH is our hospital. I think so highly of my colleagues. Forward thinking. You know, they're doing some basic research and, you know, they're really on the edge and they're up to date. RIH is your hospital. They're just so interested and hardworking and kind when we're not over overburdened. <laughs> the challenge that will continue to move forward in the future is, uh, is the volume of patients that are seen here in the hospital, be it uh, in the emergency room or uh, surgically. My biggest fear for the hospital is that with demographics being what they are in an aging population that the hospital continues to become overwhelmed in terms of the demand for its services. It's my hospital. It's our hospital. And that the private sector does not step up and fund additional costs with the facility in the coming years. If you have a strong foundation you have a stronger hospital. Royal Inland, it's my hospital. It's your hospital. As a community, if we don't rally harder to make this place just keep, keep improving and getting better, that we're going to lose people. And this just makes me super sad because I don't want to go. So let's give generously now so that the hospital is ready. <laughs>